SpaceX has been a major player in the space industry, and it has been focusing all its efforts on the Starship project, its biggest and most ambitious to date. This gigantic rocket is made up of two parts. The first stage, also known as the booster, lifts the vehicle off the ground. The second stage, called the Starship, carries the crew and cargo. As of now, these components are in their last phase of changes and upgrades. The Starship made headlines on the 20th of April with its first fully stacked test flight. The vehicle was launched from SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. Standing at a towering 120 meters, the rocket took flight and soared to a maximum altitude of 24 miles. Despite several issues that led to vehicle's destruction, the debut flight was relatively successful. However, this ambitious venture didn't come without a cost. The launch left a scene of wreckage at the Starbase launch facility. The sheer power of Starship's 33 first-stage Raptor engines resulted in significant damage to the launch pad, blowing out a crater beneath the orbital launch mount and scattering debris across the vicinity. The launch was so forceful that chunks of cement and other debris were flung into the nearby infrastructure. With a dedicated team working around the clock, efforts are underway to rectify the problems that led to previous failures. These include addressing the issues responsible for the launch pad damage and refining the rocket's performance. These modifications and improvements are crucial to prepare Starship for its next launch attempt. One of the modifications incorporated into this second launch attempt is the hot staging technique. Hot staging is an approach that allows the upper stage of Starship to ignite its engines while it is still attached to the super heavy booster. Musk announced this change in a Twitter space event, describing the technique as common practice in Russian launch vehicles like the Moon Rocket N1. Hot staging makes for a more efficient separation process between the stages of the spacecraft. To facilitate this revolutionary technique, SpaceX is modifying the Super Heavy booster of Starship with additional vent holes and protective shields. The primary function of these additions is to allow for the efficient exhaust of the upper stage. This modification is really important for the success of the upcoming launch. However, recent images of the movement of the ninth booster, or Booster 9, have yet to reveal these modified vent holes. It is speculated that SpaceX's plan for Booster 9, after a successful test to ensure its stability, is to roll it back to the build site for the installation to be completed. On a separate note, the Starship Gazer, a dedicated observer of SpaceX's Starship, found a new section of the Starship booster, specifically for hot staging, at SpaceX's facility. This new design has sparked interest because it's different from previous ones. At first, the new design might not look too different. However, it's actually made with less material and yet creates more space inside the rocket. This is a good thing because it can help make the rocket lighter, and the extra space can be used for other things. One cool thing about the new design is that it adds something called stringers to the forward section of the booster. Stringers are reinforcing strips. These are included in the design to make the hot staging process more efficient. Essentially, they help ensure the rocket uses fuel in the most effective way possible during this phase of the launch. The new design is also shaped better than the old one. It might have a brace halfway down or even angled supports inside each notch. These features help to control the flow of fuel and add structural strength. The hot staging technique, thanks to its potential to increase payload capacity, represents a new way of launching rockets that could change the way we go to space. Usually rockets launch in stages. After a stage uses up all its fuel, it gets thrown away, and the next stage starts firing. This happens one after the other. But with hot staging, things work a bit differently. Instead of waiting for one stage to completely finish before the next one starts, the next stage's engines actually start firing while it's still attached to the previous stage. So it's more like shifting gears in a car without letting your foot off the gas pedal. This approach ensures a seamless transition between stages, potentially leading to a significant increase in efficiency. The final hot stage assembly that will be integrated with Booster 9 is a new generation prototype, which offers several distinct advantages. As Musk stated, there's a meaningful payload to orbit advantage with hot staging that's conservatively about a 10% increase. This change eliminates the need to carry additional hardware for stage separation and ignition, which translates into more space and weight that can be allocated to cargoes, satellites, or crew. This change promises greater efficiency and cost-effectiveness in launching missions, 
a leap forward in the commercialization of space travel. Hot staging could also help us launch rockets more often. With the usual way of launching rockets, there's a lot of waiting around. After one stage finishes, we have to make sure it's safely out of the way before we can start the next stage. This can take a while, which slows down how often we can launch rockets. But with hot staging, the next stage starts right away while still attached to the previous stage. There's no waiting around. This means we could potentially get rockets ready for their next mission much quicker. Despite its numerous advantages, implementing hot staging successfully is not without its challenges. One such challenge is ensuring that the upper stage is adequately shielded from the exhaust gases of the lower stage's engines during ignition. This precaution is crucial to prevent any damage to the upper stage during this critical phase of the launch. The propellant load tests that have been recently completed for Starship's Super Heavy Boosters, Boosters 9 and 10, have marked a critical milestone in the rocket's development and testing process. These tests assess and validate the performance and integrity of the rocket's propellant system, and are a vital check to ensure that all components related to propellant handling, such as the tanks, valves, and pumps, are functioning correctly. Soon, the static fire test will take place, playing a crucial role in assessing the booster's readiness for its eventual mission. SpaceX is planning to use Booster 9 as the primary propulsion system for Starship's SN25 journey to orbit. However, to ensure readiness, Booster 10 has been designated as a backup option in case 9 encounters any issues during pre-flight tests. Having two boosters available allows SpaceX to accelerate the development of the rocket ship system, ensuring progress isn't hindered by potential setbacks. At the Starbase factory, engineers have been actively constructing multiple starships and rockets, all of which will undergo similar testing and flight evaluations. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.